Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the common problems of using virtual height field mesh in Unreal Engine 5, that is flickering. I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can uh, try to reduce the, or completely get rid of flickering in your project. So let me uh, show you this scene a little bit. So this is created using OpenLAN. Right now, I'm going to show you things that apply to OpenLAN, but I think this is something generic uh, that you can apply for any other landscape material or system as well. Right, now you can see here we have some uh, clear displacements. So these are based on the virtual height field mesh and some of the tools comes with open land. And if you want to get set up like this, I have a separate video on that. So check the description or somewhere on the screen to get started with that. And let's say now you have some flickering on your screen. So basically that means this height field is jumping here and there. And if you play the game, it's it's completely useless and it doesn't look good. Right now with this GPU, I have a 3060 mobile GPU in this laptop and it's quite fine. I have also reduced the frame rate to 30 uh, because I'm recording things. So here you can see now I can see my displacement. So let's say if I got some flickering, here are some of the options that you can try. And the first thing is RVT resolution. So you can select the RVT volume from here, RVT volume material. And in the details panel, you can see the virtual texture. I can click this search icon. I can load the RVT over here. I can double click that. So now you can see my RVT's resolution is maxed out in this version. Typically you could put the size of virtual texture in tiles. You can set that to about 10. So now you can see the uh, actual virtual texture size and the actual virtual texture size drops from 4 million pixels to just 1 million. And if you think about the quality, there is not that difference in the quality as well. So I really suggest to like go with this uh, settings, but you can also try to reduce that. For example, let's put some value like two and it's completely get unusable over here, but I think some, some value like six. I mean, it's quite reasonable and you can play with this value and try to try to reduce that. All right. Next thing is the LOD distribution of your virtual height field mesh. So I'm going to go to my wireframe mode over here. Then I'm going to click my virtual height field mesh on the outline. And I'm going to search in the details panel for, let's say, LOD. Yeah, here. We have some LOD settings. So here uh, we have the LOD distribution about 1.7. I think this is a reasonable amount. If you put a value like one, you can see, I don't see much uh, resolution closer to my camera. And if you increase and it get increased like this. So if you reduce the geometry, something like this, and it will sometimes help uh, to reduce the flickering. And if you reduce it too much, uh, so I can show you, you can go to the, uh, normal mode you can see if i move my camera it start to like do a little bit of flickering kind of effect because you can see you can see over here yeah this is fading away geometry sometimes it, it will lead to a flickering always try to see the wireframe and also like try to play with your game and try to see whether flickering of a not. but 1.7 is a quite decent value likewise you can increase the lod uh, zero screen size so if you increase that you can see you don't see much geometry close to the camera and you can reduce that so if you reduce that, you can see all the place looks like LOD zero and you have more geometry. And that's another way that you can play with the geometry. Also, you can play with the LOD zero distance scale. If you increase that, you can see you, you will see more geometry. And if you reduce that, you will see less geometry. So I'll set it back to default. Just play with your LOD uh, settings. It Sometimes it will help you a lot to get rid of flickering if you play with this correctly. Right, another thing is, uh, about rendering your landscape. So right now I'm not only rendering my virtual height field mesh. I can go to wireframe mode. I, I don't see any landscape over here, but if I select my landscape, so I can see my landscape and height field mesh rendered together. And this is how it looks like, right? Then if I select something else, you can see more details. So basically if you render landscape, you will lose some of the details of your height field because the landscape also rendering in between this height field right now i have enabled this to like not to render the landscape always and you, you can do that by going to the landscape and search for virtual and here we have option called draw in main pass of the landscape and you can set it to never or always if you put to always it will is render always but here i set that to never so it won't render the landscape anytime so that that's that looks really nice in some way sometimes sometimes this might introduce some flickering in your scene in if that's the case try to set to always but the problem is if you put that to always you will lose some of the uh, details of your height field 
another option is, is move to UE4. I know it's not a real option. Uh, if you're relying on some of the UE5 features, uh, you, you cannot do that. But if you're not really using any of the UE5 features, I'll try to go back to UE4.27. And that version, Virtual Height Field Mesh works really nicely and there is no any flickering at all. So that's something you should try as well. All right, um, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.